Welcome back, and in this session I want to talk about the difference between Pro Tools edit modes and Studio One edit modes. There are four edit modes in Pro Tools, there's Shuffle, Spot, Slip and Grid, and I want to show you how you find those in Studio One if you're editing audio in Studio One. So let's start with Shuffle. What Shuffle means is that's sometimes referred to in the video editing world as ripple editing, which basically means as you remove stuff on the timeline, stuff moves down to uh, make up the space basically. And in Studio One, there's a number of ways of doing that. The first way is that you can mark an entire section in a track. So all these pieces here, for example, I could grab all of these and I could go to Edit, Delete Time. It's also a keyboard shortcut you can see there. Then this dialog pops up and we say we want to do, uh, let's say two bars of there, we'll take it out to five. Press OK, and now as you can see, it's all shuffled down. We've lost uh, that section that we had marked before. That works on a per track or group of tracks basis. So, for example, if you wanted to take just half of this this bar out here of this these toms, I could do that and delete time like that. As you can see, the toms have just moved down on their own now. So we could do that, or we could do it on a group of tracks as well. So let's say we wanted to do it on that, and we wanted to add in here as well. For example, two of these. So we wanted to add this and this here, and we could again either use a keyboard shortcut or we could just go delete time. It's just two tracks then. Now another way you can do it in Studio One, which is really nice of course, is you can label up songs. So let's say this is an entire song and you want to take a chorus out, we can go to our arranger mode here, there, and we can then start drawing in sections of the song. So we could say, okay, this is one section for example, that's the intro, then that's the verse, and then that's, verse, that's the chorus, uh, and that's the bridge. So if we color code some stuff, just so that you get the idea of this. I'm going to grab all of these. Let's just make, change the color of those just for the point of this video. Make all those red now so you can see where they are now on the timeline. So if you come back to the, the arranger window, press I now, and we move that verse up to there. As you can see, the whole thing's moved. Of course, we could also remove the whole section. So that's a really cool way, and of course you could pick it up from here as well and just move it down if you want to, if you prefer drag and drop. But this is a nice way of moving stuff around the timeline anyway. So that's that's kind of a sort of power uh, shuffle edit. Then the next one is slip. Now that's basically whether it's on the grid or not. So if you want to move stuff on the grid, then you could say grab that stuff now, and that's now moving to the grid. And then if you turn that off now, and that's now moving freeform, as you can see that's been applied to any kind of grid. Now what's really nice about the snapping in Studio One as well is this adaptive snapping, which means it can snap to the cursor and the loop, it can snap to events or it can snap to grid. So you could tick a few of those if you want. So we go snap to event now, and when we pick this up now, it will go along and we can snap it to that event there. Or we can snap it to the grid. So that's basically slip and grid from Pro Tools. Now the final one is spot. And what that means is if the audio has a timestamp in it, you can actually ask the DAW to move it to the part of the timeline where it originally came from. So I've got some snippets of audio here on my desktop, which I've brought over from Pro Tools, and I have no idea where they came from, so I've got to bring them in. So I've got I've got room there, so I'm gonna bring room in here, uh, and I've got snare here. So bring the snare in as well. Let's just drop that on the timeline. And I've got kick. Uh, and I don't know where that's supposed to go. So we'll just drop that on the timeline for a moment. Uh, and then we've got the, the toms as well. So let's drop that in. Now where they go is anybody's guess. But the great thing is, if we select those, and then we come to edit, move to origin, they get put back where they came from. And so that's a very useful feature if you've got audio and you don't know where it actually lives on your timeline. Having it so that you can actually spot it to the origin is perfect. And as you can see, if you look at the audio there, it actually has put it where it should live. And it's all lined it back up again. So that's called move to origin. So those are the edit features if you're coming from Pro Tools. Shuffle, Spot, Slip and Grid are all possible using Studio One. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.